In this session, we'll be basically talking about two kingdom classification system. Now, what happened? This Linnaeus classified the organisms into two groups, like he gave two kingdom classification system. These two kingdoms were kingdom plantae and kingdom animalia. We have also talked about, even the Aristotle did the same. He classified living organisms into animalia and plants. But he could not mention about the significant differences between plants and animals which he gave, the Linnaeus gave. When you talk about the differences, if you can see the cell wall, the cell wall is present in plants. But the animal, they don't have the cell wall. If you can talk about the locomotion, Plants cannot locomote, they cannot move from one place to another, but this new mode of locomotion is present here in animals. If you can talk about mode of nutrition, so plants are the group of organisms which can prepare their own food. Autotrophic mode, which is also called holophytic mode of nutrition is present, but in animals they consume the food from plants or from some other sources, so they are called heterotrophic animals. If you can talk about response to stimuli responses to stimuli the stimuli can be anything the response to stimuli in case of plants is very slow like you must have seen the growth of plant which is due to the what you call sunlight and that is the slow response but as soon as something pinches you up you remove your hand all of a sudden that becomes the response which is very fast if you can talk about the next difference it's contractile system and contractile system is only present in animals it is absent in plants if you can talk about the examples some of the examples here are bacteria algae fungus and higher plants and here you will see protozoa vertebrates and invertebrates so these are the significant differences between plants and animals what Linnaeus has mentioned and thus this particular system of classification is called two kingdom classification system but there are various limitations of this particular system. If you can look here, the bacteria, it's a group of prokaryotes. So bacteria is a group of prokaryotes and all other members are eukaryotes. If you can look, the prokaryotes and other eukaryotes are clubbed together into the same kingdom. So this is one, what you call limitation. If we can talk about the second limitation, if you are discussing about the second limitation, if you can see this particular group called fungus, it's a group of heterotrophic organisms, while algae and higher plants are autotrophic. If you can talk about what you call protozoa, protozoa is unicellular. Here the bacteria is also unicellular. So protozoa is unicellular which is clubbed with vertebrate and invertebrate, those are multicellular. Bacteria is unicellular which is also clubbed with other multicellular organisms. So there are three various limitations of this particular two kingdom classification. One is bacteria is prokaryotes, all other are eukaryotes. Bacteria is unicellular, protozoa is unicellular which are merged with other what you call multicellular organisms. When you talk about fungus and most of the bacteria are heterotrophic and all other higher plants are autotrophic. So autotrophic and heterotrophic organisms are also club. Seeing these limitations, the third system called three kingdom classification system has come, which we'll be discussing about the next session.